Welcome seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. This week's forecast is for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cusp. Please be mindful that this platform is designed to inform and to teach, so you may want to bring personal learning tools. Also be mindful to support this temple, this platform, by giving your likes, by commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Now let's prepare for what messages the source would like to relate to you through me. I know that it's beneficial, so please stay away. Welcome back, Devil's Advocates and Gemstones to the Tarot Temple. It is my pleasure to bring you your weekly forecast because you gave me the highest views. So I want to thank you so much for being supportive. You kind of weighed off a little bit. Um, the past couple of weeks, but you really showed out uh, last week, and I want to thank you so much. And before I begin your forecast, I want to thank my newcomers. Thank you for making the temple your home. I just want to believe that seekers are here to grow, but maybe you're here for something else. I don't know. You know, people come um, to tarot country for different reasons, you know, to peak, some to seek. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, it's all about your personal self-elevation. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, except um, that I'm just very, very um, happy that my newcomers um, and the ones that are coming are deciding to um, support the temple. I do give my heart and my love to this divine craft, this divine um, calling, and I don't take it for granted, and I don't take it lightly, and I don't want you to. But because you gave me the most views, your views were way over 10, um, you're going to get the entire shebang. I'm going to try to give you as much as I can. And even though uh, you all know I be pressed for time, I'm going to give you all the time that I can, okay? So um, I kind of made a decision because I don't have a lot of subscribers. I'm the least in this um, industry here on YouTube. Um, I just decided if it's not... 10 or more, then I will start to cut back, okay, on what I provide, and um, there are a few last week that will not be getting a whole lot, you know what I'm saying, but you always get something, because I, I do care, so let's go ahead and find out what your planetary lineup is for this week's working money, um, for January the 16th, I forgot to put that in your intro, 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. So from the 16th to the 22nd of this month of January 2022. All right. All right. So whenever source is ready, we'll get started. Your external energies will deal with the wands or the staffs of Venus. All right. Great energy, Venus. Internally, you'll be dealing with the coins of diamonds of Jupiter. Okay. Don't pay my nails any mind. We're getting ready to go try to get those fixed today. Was terrible, but um, it held pretty good. They did better than the other companies with the gel. That's what I like, gel. Okay. Um, when I was about to start your forecast, I turned to the country station. And a lot of people don't know that I was kind of raised on country, and I know a lot of little country music. <laughs> and I like country music. It may not be what I play often, but for some reason lately, I've been getting back into it. And um, when I got ready to start your forecast, I was like, uh, I'm a little bit of country and I'm a little bit of R&B soul. Well, I'm a whole lot of R&B soul. Y'all know that. But anyway, I also got a message for you. I would not say how I get my messages because I uh, realized that there's a lot of copycatting on YouTube, but it was for you and Aries, okay? And while I got this message... It dealt with some delivery. I, I saw this man carrying a box like this. It looked like a male kept walking, carrying a box, right? And he suddenly started to shrink. He suddenly started to shrink. He got small. I don't know if he's getting smaller in your eyes, if they deal with shrink wrap. I don't know what it is. But um, Gemini's, there was a package already at your porch. 
Next thing I knew, it changed into a monkey. Now, I don't know if you're born in the year of the monkey, if you know somebody affiliated born in the year of the monkey, and the monkey looked like it had a weapon. I, it looked like a long nose gun. Um, it looked like um, a boomerang. But suddenly I saw it changing. It went reverse. It was holding up. The monkey was holding up the weapon, and it went reverse. And, 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 and Source was showing me how whatever it is, it, it backfires. So, um, I, I just feel I need to give you that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and deal with these lineups because, um, like I said, I want to give you as much as I can. You are battling in love this week. I see that. You know, and I'm hearing force. It's kind of like a force. Okay? The great mother is forcing you to deal with issues of love, okay? And for some of you, I'm also hearing spark. So you may be sparked by love, okay? Love may spark you to create something, okay? Um, so some of you, you being sparked by the great mother um, to deal with love either through force through a force of nature or through creativity. Internally, I see you meditating or thinking or trying to manifest something that's beneficial. So I feel like this has a lot, this spark has a lot to do with creating something that's beneficial um, to your group, to your family, even in your work, okay? Um, because people come up with ideas that can be done at work, that can make work better. You may be taking this to your supervisor or manager, but, um, and some of you how to make more money because it'll be more beneficial with what you're trying to do in terms of taking care of the home and or creating, okay? So let's go ahead and get your um, mood cards for internal and external energy for this week, January the 16th to the 22nd. I'm sorry I left that out of your intro. Okay, but of course it'll be in the title. Externally, you're dealing with yourself. Stress may be an issue this week, okay? Stress may be an issue this week. All right, you're in your energy. And um, internally, you're dealing with the moon and cancer. It's saying spend time with family or helping others. So, that may be part of the plan in Jupiter here. That may be part of the spark. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. And we know Geminis can be emotional even when they don't show it. Okay? So, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to try to... Let me push this back some. Make sure that you get a chance to view... Your energies okay now let's get your one word reference for this week let's see how all of this is going to pan out for you or what it'll mean um maybe it'll um there you go i don't I don't think i have to do anything of course course sharp course sharp and then also underneath there, you got games. Complete the sentence. We know that you are the um, sign that deals with um, language and learning. Okay, communication. Complete the sentence. And I'm here, you know, I said, stop playing with me. Just say what you got to say. Okay. Course sharp. Okay. Uh, you may be interested in taking a course or like the course you're going to take okay it's probably going to sharpen your mind okay we, remember we told you venus is here and it's kind of like a force going on with you a spark of some type okay course sharp here i'm gonna lay that there and what we're going to do is go ahead and get started with these cards we're going to use the right of weight this week. I don't know why, but that's what she chose for you. So I'm not going to argue that. I hope you're doing well. Again, I hope 2022 
is off to a great start for you and um whether you are into resolutions or not but again uh, as i told i don't know if it was you or everybody but i was like when you do resolutions you want to take small steps don't try to do everything in the month of january you know what i'm saying you want to break it down you want to break it down okay yeah but that was really interesting how i got that download i won't say how i got it um I, i'm really learning to keep a lot of stuff to myself uh, because there are spiritual themes people think that all theft is physical it's not there are spiritual thieves right here in tarot country they are as rich as hell. They have thousands of subscribers. And they will come to a small person like me and take, literally. So I'm learning to kind of keep things to myself. It, it is, I'm, I'm still healing from that because I look up to these people. And they don't even know it. Okay? I think that's it. Overall energy you have is the moon. Okay? The moon card. And that is based on the five of swords. You can expect the Knight of Swords. And that is stemming from the Six of Pentacles. And your outcome is the Seven of Cups. We will discuss conflict and inner challenge and your blessing or your uh, supportive energy in just a moment. Your underlying energy is the Four of Swords. And the first thing I heard was prayer. Okay, so this is somebody who's laying on their bed, talking to themselves, talking to God, going within, meditating, and prayer. This is prayer. You're thinking with your heart. You're in your heart. Thinking what to say. Didn't I say that? Like I said something about... Don't beat around the bush. Just say what you got to say. And it's based on um, something you heard or something something you heard or something somebody told you, okay, that you feel impressed with. You know, you're going and you're praying on this, though. That's a good move, okay? You're going and you're thinking about this and you're seeking your heart about this because you like what you heard. It's from this five of swords. Oh, yes. That's what I, I when I first saw this card, I said sleep. You're gonna sleep on this. You can't make this up. You're gonna sleep on this. You're gonna think about this. You're gonna pray about this. Some of you may be like me who believe in the great mother. Okay. Um, and you may be looking to her, moonlighting. All right, talking to her. But this could represent your mom or a mother figure in your life okay and you're gonna sleep on those words because you like what you heard if either you've been praying about this or you're going to be praying about this maybe when it's the right time you know what moves should i make how should i do this i don't know but you will know if it applies to you again if it doesn't fit please acquit all right, and if you need something, um, because these are general readings, so if you need something more specific, you have to hit me up for a personal reading, okay? Because for you, it's all about reciprocity here. You know, what I give that you can give back. What can we share? What can this is like? This is like a business deal here. Stemming from my one of my favorite cards, De La Croix. Okay, this this could be an offer, and um, you offering something, and uh, you get something in return. Okay, you like what you heard. I don't know where you heard it from. It, this could even be on TV or something, or somebody put it in your ear, and now you thinking. And I'm also hearing something about a card. Okay about a card, a credit card, a bank card, I don't know, a food stamp card, I don't know. But it's stemming from fair weight. Fair weight. You weighed it. It's fair. We can do business. Let's find out the reason. Oh, 
also heard here something when it comes to this uh, De La Croix, this money, something was put to the side. You know, you put it to the side. Maybe you wanted to think about it later. I'm hearing cloth. Hmm. Because I don't know, because something needs to be cleaned up here. Somebody's thinking about how to clean something up, too. How to make something right. Let's get the reason. Fair weight, you know, in everything you need to be fair. That's that's in the Bible. That's how you that's how you're blessed when you're fair. Okay. People that are unfair to me with just theft and being crooked, they shit never lasts. It never lasts. Okay, there it is again. So you have the um, judgment card in reverse with the um, lover's card. So some of you weighing your heart about this connection, about this is this is this is you, Gemini. Okay. Um, this is the lover's card. This is also dealing with the home. The neighborhood. Okay. Weighing your heart about somebody that you are connected to or that you have feelings for or something to deal with the home. Because what I get from this card is that usually this is a single person. They may or may not have children, but there is a lover involved. Someone that you are heavily connected to, you may have a lot of deep feelings for. It could be old, it could be new, it doesn't matter. Okay? This is the reason for this um, Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. But, but, but you weighing your heart again. This is like you made a decision before, but now you're rethinking this. But you're using your heart this time. Didn't I say that in the Four of Swords? You was using your heart. Instead of your mind, you're going inside your heart. Okay? You're looking at your heart. And look who's underneath there. The King of Swords. The Transformer. Okay? Again, this could be the um, answer from the from the great mother of heaven, or this could represent your mom or your mother figure. Okay, what can you expect? The knight of swords. This is a sudden, um, you expect this, but this is a sudden response, a sudden reply. Usually it has to deal with financial transactions. Okay, that's what you can expect. Stemming from fair weights, stemming from some equality, sharing something, doing business together. This just goes hand in hand. Okay, but I keep hearing for some of you this this lover is a lover involved. Okay, an interest, a love interest. Mhm. Mm they're gonna show their face. It's like they're removing the mask. The mask is going to be removed in this situation. This is your energy, um, devil's advocates and gemstones. This is probably, more than likely, this is you. Okay? This is you because this is air energy. But you're going to sleep on it at first, thinking about it. You're searching your heart. That's a beautiful thing. To search your heart, you know? that That's, that's scripture. Search your heart, you know? Weigh your heart. See if you're being fair. See if you're being right. Okay? That's the one thing. I'm not... I'm a Christian in principle. I'm not per se a Christian in terms of religion. But the thing that I love about 
Christianity is the principle of love, even though to me they don't understand it. Because you got to get deeply spiritual to define and to understand what love really is. Okay, but at least somebody in the temple is raising their consciousness, is raising their um, heart chakra. Okay, because what I love about the Knight of Swords, now in a sense, the Knight of Swords can kind of be cheap, you know, or, or I should say fugal, but it's they're very business like, very business like. It is what it is with the Knight. Either you either either you want it or you don't. That, that's that's the Knight of Swords. Either you want to do this or you don't. This is what I can offer. You see what I'm saying? And this may be coming from you or them. I don't know because it's stemming from coins, which is Earth element. All right. The outcome of all of this is the seven of cups. Now, this is somebody going shopping. This could be the grocery store. You know, this is my chicken wing card. You know what I'm saying? Going to get you some chicken wings, some drumettes. Um, I'm hearing somebody's going to get a ring. Maybe coming from this, this love. You having to weigh your heart. Okay. I don't know if it's a friendship ring, an engagement ring. I don't know. But there's some shopping going on. And 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 it's um in the cups. I'm also seeing something about um voice and sound. You know, because the house of Gemini is the house of communication, and it represents being able to communicate well, and also business drafts, okay? Draft, drafting contracts, you know, a draft is not official yet, okay? Like, how can I win by saying the right thing? You got to say the right thing to be a winner, right? You got to think on it. But I'm also seeing some skeletons being hidden too. Hiding the past. Or keeping the past with, you know, in to yourself because you figured that this is the best way to win, to get over, to, to be a victor in the situation. But whatever it is, you're shopping around. You remember I told you it was going to be something about a force? That comes with that knight of swords. That spark from Venus. Once you add everything up, you're going to be able to see the benefits of it. You're going to be able to see, um, you know, a little bit more than what you had at first. And I'm hearing the word expend, but I'm not sure. E-X-P-E-N-D. Like expenditures. Okay. The conflict, though, is the... Strength card, okay. So um this this is dealing with your physical, your financial, or your, you, you know, your outer environment, okay. Conflict it may be coming from this um lovers. This is hunger, okay? Conflict. So maybe you hungry this week, hungry for money, hungry for love, uh hungry for sex. This could also be, um, this also represents Leo. And we also see that there is hostility, but also self-control. Somebody in the environment is, has a lot more self-control. I call this my Lady Diana card. She's very ladylike. She's a princess, okay? And um, <laughs> I heard for somebody, she's not going to go back and forth with you. Okay, we're not going round and round and round and round with this, okay? Okay? I need you to keep it calm. I need you to be cool, you know? And she has a talent.
for soothing the savage beast, okay, by her voice, by what she says, okay, by her actions. She can close the lion's mouth. But for others, this is this this lion, this whoever's in this environment, I'm sure they have Leo in their chart, even if it's not sun. They're trying to suck up to you. Okay. And I'm also hearing the word charitable, but it's in your conflict. It's in your challenge. Maybe you don't know if you need to give in to this, you know, if you need to be charitable. Okay, it's to be charitable, it's to give. Okay. I don't know, maybe this lover who's ever coming to your door that you have to weigh your heart in or weigh your heart over, whoever that is, you know, maybe they need you. Yeah. For some of you that have curly hair, or they like to wear their hair curly. But what's going to support you be your blessed energy is the uh, Page of Pentacles makes sense. Now, either you're coming up with an idea or you're going to weigh that charity, okay? When you know, I said something about weighing being fair, how to be fair about something. You need to weigh that idea, the thought. You know, if I give you, do this or give this, then I should be able to give this back, Okay? Because it's, it's really not that much, but it's enough for you to go shopping. You know what I'm saying? For you to look around at some shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's going to be your blessing to think it through, to, to give the idea some thought. Maybe to even to be charitable. Because a lot of people don't realize they're already blessed. People that are give that naturally give, really don't realize they're already blessed to give. But others have to learn to give. And they don't realize how that energy comes back. Not really expecting anything in return unless it is business. Now, that makes sense. You know, the most high wants you to earn. He don't want you to be stupid, you know. But I realize I stay so rich because I give. I give. I just give, you know, people on the street. It don't take a lot. It's not going to hurt to give a dollar to the poor. It's not going to hurt, you know, to buy somebody a lunch. You don't realize who you're entertaining. You could be entertaining an angel and not know it. And you're being tested. You know, just like I say, even when it comes to the temple, a like, a comment, a share, you know, a, con a contribute, a tithe. It's not, it, it, you don't realize what that's going to do for you. And, um... Not with the attitude of buying a blessing, but with the attitude of saying, I am a blessing to others. See what I'm saying? That part. All right. So let's move on and let's sum up your um sum up your week and see what it's gonna be like. Devil's advocates and gym style. Thank you so much for showing out, you know, because y'all kind of fell out off. And I'm like, I'm used to my gemstones, you know, and my Tauruses. They used to be on shit. But I don't know what happened last week, you know. Like, like, like uh, my boy, um, Pimp C said in UGK, what goes up must come down. <laughs> oh, you know. oh that, there it is. There it is. There it is, Pug. I think you got this before. Pug. You see them two together? Oh, that goes back to this lover card. Okay, I'm not really sure what a pug is, but it could mean like friendship. I see friendship here, cuddly, dudley kind of shit. You can look that up. I'll look at that later. I know before it also deals with smells because you know sex smells. So keep yourself clean. All right. And I'm also <laughs> for some of you or one of you, you don't you really don't like it. You kind of uh like. I don't know if somebody is sleeping with somebody for the benefit of it. They sleeping with somebody they really don't like. 
but it's got to be beneficial. It's getting some, you know, our friends with benefits. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's get your spiritual vibe oracle message. Spiritual vibe oracle message, okay? So let me shuffle this and then split it. All right? I thought you was going to get um, a written word, but spiritual vibe oracle message. Spiritual Bible Oracle message for my gemstones. All right, source, whenever you're ready. Spiritual Bible Oracle message for my gemstones. Lord, you cannot make this up. <laughs> You have partnership, okay? Underneath there, you have loyalty, okay? Damn, you cannot make this up. I don't even feel like I need a reference card, but I'll give it to you. Please clarify this um, partnership for my gemstones and devil's advocates, dear source. Par. Let's see, par in here. Parlay. You have the King of Wands reverse, okay? What about the King of Wands? Something being canceled out, um, not going forward on a dream, or it exists already, and you're rethinking this idea because the King of Wands is an idealist. And I'm also hearing reckless. It's being kind of reckless or have been kind of reckless in the partnership. Okay, maybe all they want to do is fuck. You know what I'm saying? Or some of you are dealing with an ex. And I tell you, somebody that came back to this house, oh, sleeping with somebody you really don't want to sleep with. Let me get you a, a chakra card and a gemstone. I'm gonna give you one of each. Okay, maybe this will help get you through. Because, you know, sometimes we feel like we got to do what we don't want to do because it's beneficial. But um, it, when it comes to the lover's card, even though there's nothing angelic here, your sixth sense, you know, it's sometimes some things are necessary. There it is. It says, oh my gosh, let me get, hold on just a second, let me get my. You have the sixth chakra, the third eye. Did I just say that sixth sense? Mindfulness. I am aware of my thoughts and I ask myself, are they uplifting and are they true? I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly, significantly affect my mental, emotional, and physical health. And because I know that my body believes everything I believe, I am not in control of all situations that come my way, nor am I in control what others do and say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. Did we talk about language? I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. Mm, let's get you a gemstone. See how this is going to affect you this week. Ooh, this is really um, a good reading. Everything ties in together. Okay. Yeah, I give you the whole shebang because, like I said, I'm very uh, grateful to you and your um, highest views. No one else will be getting everything. Only you. Only those who really support. You have the Termaline Courts for Justice. Okay, justice is here. Okay, it's kind of like a little bit of justice comes out of the Six of Pentacles as well. Okay, what's right? What's fair, right? Justice, I went straight to it. Termaline Courts is the connection of black and white, earth and heaven, shadow and light. It unites opposite principles and teaches us how to balance our relationships, situations, and feelings. Mm -hmm. 
you, it shows re reality. Oh, the reality is sticking it. But also awakens mental perception and emotional growth. So that's why this is happening. This is about growing up. The um, interpretation, the positive inter or the tarot interpretations of justice, stability, judgment, strength of will, balance, harmony, sincerity, consideration, paying attention to the natural order, listening to the voice of the conscious that's in that four swords. The shadow aspects is prejudice, outside authority, injustice, judging according, according to unbending rules instead of listening to the inner voice. You can't make this up. Let me get you a totem for this week. Should help you. This is the energy that should help you this week. Oh, it, it, you got a fish just falling out. You have one, I believe. This is the catfish. Okay. That's the catfish. The catfish. Let's find out what's going on with this catfish for. If I can find it. I can't remember everything, y'all. Where's my fish page? Okay, let me put you on pause. Devil's advocates, you cannot make this up. Emotional growth. Discarding what no longer serves you. I think for a lot of you, this has to do with this relationship with this person. Developing clairsentient skills. Not blaming others for how you feel. So, with all of that being said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much, Devil Advocates and Gemstones, for tuning in to the Tarot Temple one more again for your work, money, and romantic guidance. I can't wait to bring you another one. And until the next one, hotel, peace, and one love.